Hello everybody and welcome to Keep Drawing. Today we're going to draw the Grim Reaper. So grab some paper and something to draw with and we're going to start with his hoodie. We'll begin with this V shape. Then we'll add two more lines to make a diamond shape. This is the opening of his hood and now we'll start the skull. Draw these L shapes for cheekbones. Now make a U-shape for the teeth. Next we'll draw the nose. Now start the eyes with two mean looking lines. And add two more curves like this. Now we'll add some details to the bottom of the hood. Remember to pause or slow the video if I'm going too fast. Watch as I draw a crooked line along the top of the hood. Now draw this line on the other side and finish the hood by bringing it to a point at the top. For our next step, let's draw two lines for shoulders. Then add two longer lines for the body, like this. He's already starting to look really cool. And he definitely looks like a Grim Reaper. The next thing we should do is add to his sleeves and draw a fist in his skeleton hand for holding the scythe. The fist has this rectangle shape with little bumps at the bottom for the knuckles. It's okay to draw this line for his staff through the other lines. You'll see why in a minute. Now add another parallel line. And we'll cover the staff with these little curved shadow lines. Pretty soon the places we crossed won't be visible. Next we will add the blade and we'll point the blade towards his head. The blade is just two curves with another one down the middle. Now we'll go back to the fist and add little lines for the bones and the fingers. Now we'll add a ragged edge to his sleeve. And draw an outline for his other skeleton hand. Here are more lines for the finger bones. We're almost done with the outline. Let's add some tears to the bottom of the robe.
It's time to color and outline. Let's start with red circles inside each eye socket. And fill in the rest with black ink. Adding red eyes really makes the drawing more interesting. Fill in the nose once the eyes are finished. Then add a black shadow to everything around the skull. I like to start with a larger marker and then use a finer point when I'm coloring closer to the lines. Our next step is adding a dark outline. This gives me a chance to fix some mistakes I've made and also to really make our image stand out. I'll make the outline along the bottom extra dark for shadow. And here's our Grim Reaper all finished. I colored the blade silver and the gown gray so that the shadows would stand out. And those red eyes coming out of the white skull really give it a spooky look. I hope you enjoyed drawing this Grim Reaper with me. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.